Bannum Ben Hogan, considered one of golf's all-time greats, lies fourth behind Jack Nicholas, Bobby Jones, and Walter Hagen in winning major championships. Although Hogan always argued that golf was a game that could never be conquered, he came closer than anyone to doing it. Hogan's epic season was 1953. He became the only player ever to win the Masters, U.S. and British Opens in the same year. Another top Texan golfer of this era was Byron Nelson. Nelson was one of the few golfers whose fame derived from his phenomenal success on the U.S. Tour. Known as Lord Byron, he went on to win five major championships and 26 PGA tournaments. Three holes to play here at the 1940 PGA Championship in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and Sam Snead is the leader. Byron Nelson trails by one hole in this head-to-head -head match play final. Need now with an 18-footer. And the ball is breaking to the right. Ooh, just misses. Now Nelson strokes the ball. He's got it. Match is out even. Nelson was runner up in the PGA last year, but he can take the lead here. On the green. Nelson putting. It's a long putt. Headed for the cup. It drops. Lord Byron, only one hole away from the 1940 PGA title. Sam Snead bunkered here on 18. He'll have to blast out. He blasts, and it's short. Byron Nelson, a great clutch golfer, can win it all. Nelson on the green now with an eight-footer. He drops it. Byron Nelson is the 1940 PGA champion. In 1945, Byron Nelson played the game of golf to near perfection. Nelson had acquired a new nickname, the Mechanical Man, partly due to his consistent, flawless...